Chef Pennington here. Today we're going to make really crispy zucchini chips the real way. There's a lot of misinformation on the internet and today we're going to do a couple of different tests and we're going to put all that behind us. We're going to do it the correct way. And there's two ways it works, so that's cool. So let's get started here. We're going to go with about a third of an inch slices. You guys could do closer to a quarter. Um, as these cook, they're going to shrink in size. So that's the reason we're not cutting them super paper thin. You could use your mandolin. Just make sure that you don't put it on the super thin side because it would be too skinny. We want to have actually something left when we're done. So you can see that looks fairly thick, but you'll see when we're done, it's going to turn out perfect. So go ahead and do all your prep. Cut up as many zucchinis as you guys would like. So for our first round here, we're going to use a little bit of oil just to make sure they don't stick. And use some of your favorite seasoning. It could be really anything or nothing. A little sea salt could just be the, the case for you there. Get it nice and mixed up, and we're going to use a cookie sheet lined with some aluminum foil. And the reason we're using aluminum foil is it's going to help the heat in the oven do its job versus parchment paper. So that's something to think about. Parchment paper would work, but your cook times will be just a little bit longer. So into the oven, 325 for 15 to 20 minutes. Do keep your eye on it. You don't want them to get too far along cooked, but everything's going to go just fine. They don't want to cook too quick. And then we're going to turn it down to 200 degrees and we're just going to let it go for about another hour or till you like the doneness. So let's take a look. We have some some chips. That's pretty cool. They here's actually the look like Here's the sound of the crunch of the baked zucchini chips. I definitely count with some crispiness there. They're also sweeter. I wouldn't I wouldn't expect that. But that's really good. Awesome. But that's not the best we can do, which is exciting, right? So let's try it without any oil. Some people are thinking about the health side of this and they want to make it super healthy. So I went ahead and tried it and did everything the exact same way. But there's one mistake that takes place here. The result is they stick. So no good. So here's the possible solution. Parchment paper and a little bit of spray before you guys go. And you can use less oil that way. So that's cool. So let's try dehydrate it. Let's see what that does. That makes a lot of sense to me to dehydrate them. So we went for 24 hours on the vegetable setting, which is 125 degrees. You guys can see right there. They all have a little bit different, but think about the 125 degree range and you just let them go. Let's see what turned out. 24 hours later, they have dehydrated and they actually are already crispy. You can take them and they will break in half, which is really cool. But let's take it to the next level. Let's make them really crispy. Let's fry them. So normal fry temperature, 350. So let's see what happens. It didn't work. It burnt. So too hot. Let's lower the temperature. Start over. 225. They want to sink and then they start popping up on you like that, which is pretty cool. All that little... Um, popping inside of the, the, the fry right there is actually a little bit of extra moisture that's left and it's coming out. So it takes about two to three minutes and they're actually quite good. Drain the oil, you know, paper towel and all that. You can hit it with a little bit of salt and you've got amazing chips, guys. They're really crunchy, as you guys can hear. <laughs> So that is the way to make actual stuff. So our winner is the baked with oil and dehydrated. And you guys get something that's a real chip and it's made out of zucchini, which is totally cool. Hope you guys try this. They're also called Zucca chips, just to let you know if you're ever looking around online. All the information will be on the link. Please go ahead and subscribe. Come check us out on social media. I have all of our links below. And you guys have the best.